Hello guys, welcome back. Today I want to go over IKFK switch and how I approach it. It's going to be a very short video, just giving some tips on how to do it. So let's go to Maya. We have this shot here and I don't have any animation on it. Uh, it's just the pose, remember the, pro the promo pose for the new rig. And what I want to do, I want to convert this hand. So you see, like, I always start with FK. That's the thing that I usually do it. But you can use this going like from IK to FK, FK to IK, etc. Going from FK to IK is easier because you can actually match the position of the FK with the IK. But going from IK to FK can also be easy with this method that I do it. I don't use any plugins or anything. I use the align tool from Animbot, but you can also align with Maya. So nothing really specific. So for example, I have the character here. I want the hand to be IK when it's holding here. And I'm going to animate this hand going to the side and becoming FK. So hi, how I would approach it. First step is I'm going to convert to IK on the next frame, frame 2. I'm going to convert to IK. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the IK controller, the elbow controller, and set a key on frame 1 and frame 2. And now I can easily just get the IK controller, go back on frame 1, get the hand controller, and align. So now if we go on frame 2 and we copy the key we had on frame 1, it's going to be in the same position as the other one. And I'm going to do the same with the elbow, which is right here. So I'm going to get the elbow. I'm going to go back on frame 1. I'm going to select the arm controller. I'm going to align. And now when I come here, I'm just going to copy the previous. And you see, we should have the switch. But you see how like it's not 100% perfect. I never do the switch in just one frame. What I do here is I have my IK on this position on frame 2. And I have my FK on this position so basically, what I will do, I will start the shot with, let's go and start the shot with frame on the IK frame, and I'm going to convert to FK. So let me select everything here. Let's just get this frame, set a key, set everything here, delete all those keys. I know I lost some information, the fingers here, it's okay, we're not worried about this right now. Put this down. So imagine I have the shot where she's doing something with the hand here in FK, in, in IK, I mean. I don't like when the elbow is following so I'm gonna leave this and zero convert this to zero uh, I'll kiss zero perfect and now the elbow is just there we don't need to snap it it's just like a very subtle like she's moving the hand here cool and now from here I want to go to a gesture where she's gonna put the hand out here Let's say she's going to put the arm out here. And let me set a key on everything before we start. On frame 10. Frame 10. And then let's say I have a gesture around here. On frame like 20, 25. So I'm going to position the hand where I want. On the IK. And I'm going to actually work on this pose. On the IK. Cool. But I want this to be FK. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to actually change this on frame 25 to FK. Right? So frame 20 is IK, frame 25 is FK, and I'm gonna try to match the same pose I have on the IK with the FK. There are a few ways to do it. I usually just like trace it here. Doesn't need to be perfect. If you have an IK FK switch tool, then it's like much easier. You can just like match one frame, match the other frame, and vice versa. But if you don't have an IK FK switch tool, which a lot of the rigs they don't, you need to actually like do it by hand. So just like roughly try to get there as close as you can. Of course, I know it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect. You can always like check it back. The clavicle shouldn't have any key. Mm -hmm. And when we need to get like all the angles like it's completely off. Like this. Mm hmm. It's getting there. It's getting close enough. That's the problem with like most rigs that don't match. That they, they don't have a match. I, I believe this rig has a match. But when you don't match, the main problem is like how the IK and the FK they deform the arm in a different way. And that's just that's just how the rig works. There's nothing really we can do. But we can mask that. So I'm just trying to match as close as I can. Here. 
Yeah. And I always pay attention to my shot camera. Because that's where... Okay, we have pretty close. Let's actually get the hand rotation. It looks like the hand's a little bit bigger. Maybe because of this. Maybe here. Okay, so this is pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get this IK position. We don't have any keyframes on frame 25, but I'm gonna just copy to frame 25. And I'm gonna do that too with the FK as well. I'm gonna get the FK and copy this to frame 20. So now, whenever I'm going from frame 25, 20 to 25, you see how I'm blending between those two poses. Now what I need to do is I just match it, but I want this to be a gesture. So I'm gonna push this out a little bit on frame 25, because I'm not gonna match on the same position. And I'm gonna get the IK, and I'm also gonna match with the align tool again on frame 25. So now what's happening here, you see we can delete the the dot drawing here, where is the grease pencil? Grease pencil, delete frames, oh. Now you see, like, from frame 20 to 25, I have a smooth transition. And of course, in its unpolish, as you're working with your acting, you can polish it up. Polish it up. But that's how I would, like, you don't see that it's changing from IK to FK. That's the goal. And then whenever I need to polish, I track the elbow and I use the extra deformers just to get, like, really, the arc in there. You can, like, Track the arc and everything. Let me show all. Just gonna, my arc tracker is not turning on. Now it is. Cool. And now here I can just like track the arcs and really make. And even if you have an IKFK switch, I would recommend you do this method where you have five frames where both the IK and FK they are on the same place. And it doesn't need to be five frames. Sometimes I do it ten frames. Sometimes I do it five. It it depends. But that's that's pretty much it, and you see how this is blending perfectly. You wouldn't say that the beginning is IK and the end is FK. And if you need to change something, you can always just like, oh, I want to drag a little bit more the hand. And if I need to change something here, it's still OK, because you have the IK and then you have the FK, and you can just change on both. Like keep the hand a little bit more rotated, like this one here, and maybe like this. And you see, we have a smooth transition. Cool. I hope that's helpful. That's how I approach IK FK switch. And if you need to go from FK to IK, same process, even easier because you can just align the position of the IK with the FK because you're going to have your FK pose in there. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope that's useful. And I see you, see you around. Thank you.